Hey, second grade, Miss Shannon here with our science lesson for this week. We are going to pause on our brassica plants for a few days to give them time to grow taller. And we are going to look at our silkworms. So you may remember a few weeks ago, I showed you a vial that had a new insect in it and it was silkworms. So we are going to be observing silkworms and thinking about how they change as they grow. This was the vial they came in. You can see that my orange arrow is pointing to a really small black spot on that leaf. That is one of the silkworms. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you can see how big my fingers are in comparison to the leaves and the vial. And so it shows you that the silkworm was very tiny. The picture above me is what the silkworm looks like as it hatches from its egg. And you can also see a close up of silkworms eating mulberry leaves. The insects in the vials are silkworms. Baby silkworms are larvae, just like our mealworms were larvae. For science today, our focus question has two parts. Part one, what do silkworms need to live? You are going to learn about that during our lesson today. Our second part of our focus question asks, what do you predict will happen to the silkworms as they grow? So we have been working with mealworms that are larvae, turn into a pupa, and then emerge as adults. What do you think will happen with our silkworms that are also larvae? This is the container they are in now. As you can see, we had to get a larger container to give them space. We have to put a few more mulberry leaves in there. But this is where our larvae are living in the classroom. You'll notice at the top of our jar, we have large holes so that air can still get inside of the jar. Okay, so think about what do you think the silkworm need to live. All of the silkworms will live together in one habitat, so they will all live in this jar. We will feed them mulberry leaves. Silkworms will only eat mulberry leaves. They will not eat any other type of food. What do you predict will happen to the silkworms as they grow and develop? I want you to think about that as you get ready to share your answer in your science notebook. Our new insect is a silkworm. Silkworms get the food and water they need from mulberry leaves. So not only do they get their food, but also their water from the leaves. And we ensure that they have space to grow, which is why they are in a very large jar and they need air. So thinking about the four things that a silkworm needs to survive. A silkworm needs air, space to grow, food, and water. And food and water comes both from the mulberry leaves. So in your insect record, notebook. You are going to open it up to a fresh page and you're going to answer these two focus questions. What do silkworms need to live? And what do you predict will happen to the silkworms as they grow? What will happen to the silkworms? You are going to answer these questions in your science notebook. You can include a drawing of a silkworm. And as you work, I'm going to show you a short video of lots of silkworms eating the mulberry leaves. So there is no sound to this video, so you will watch and search for the silkworms on the screen. There is an example of the silkworm eggs and they hatch after a few weeks. And there is what they look like after they hatch. The baby silkworms eat a lot and grow very fast. Look at those silkworms eating the mulberry leaves. Oh my goodness. 
Here is the video of some silkworms as when they are just three days old. So if you can spot them eating these mulberry leaves, One week after hatching, you can see all of the spaces where they have eaten the leaves. There are now holes in the leaves. So second graders, if you ever find leaves with holes in them, you might think that maybe an insect was eating the leaf. Here is two and a half weeks later. You can see they are getting bigger. How do they look similar or different to our mealworms? That will be a question we will answer next week. Here they are at about three weeks old. So thinking about how are our silkworms changing as they grow? So you will answer our two focus questions in your science notebook. Take a picture of your completed page. Only if your camera is not working, uh, please type your answers on the final slide. So thank you for thinking about our newest insect, the silkworm, and figuring out what it needs to survive and how it changes as it grows.